So many projectors have been on the rise since technology has improved and compacted them into these little guys. And with a price of less than £240, is the projector got everything you need to call it an affordable high quality product? Keep watching and I'll certainly let you know. So in a box you do get quite a bit to get you started. A mini tripod, power adapter and charger, remote and USB cable. Now straight off the bat I'll be honest with you, the stand is pretty pitiful. It's very cheap and in terms of keeping the projector in place, it takes a bit of time to adjust that. However the projector itself is where the magic happens. So let's focus on that. This is incredibly compact, I won't lie. It's stated to be about the same size as an iPhone 8 Plus and I've got an iPhone X and you can kind of see that. So with that said, it's obviously very easy to pop in your pocket and take everywhere with you. Unlike many of the cheaper mini projectors, this one comes with an abundance of connectivity options. You still have access to HDMI, SD card file playback and even screen sharing between Android and ISO devices. This will be achieved through Wi-Fi so that does open up more features for the projector to use. With built-in Android 7.1 you basically have a stock phone interface that allows for a handful of streaming sources, be it Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube and many more including the good old Kodi. What's also fantastic is you have Bluetooth connectivity meaning you can connect to Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth keyboards or mouses to make that interface experience even better. Or if you want you can even connect it up to a Bluetooth gamepad. That allows you to play Android games straight from the Play Store. Now this is all great so far. You've got stock Android capabilities, an abundance of streaming sites and great connectivity options, but let's be honest, deep down we want to know what the quality's like. Well, first of all, this is a manual focus one, so you will need to spend a little time trying to find the right angle and direction to enable you to fiddle about to get the perfect focus to get a sharp picture. It does have automatic keystone, which is great, it does take the stress away from you there, but it sometimes can struggle to find the perfect angle. Now all those negatives aside, the use of the DLP technology means that it does simply have a great image clarity to it. The contrast is great and I personally haven't seen any image noise and the colours, well they're pretty damn spot on. With the built in battery you have about 2 hours of screen time. Recharge time can take about 4-5 to five hours, but then again you can run it straight off the mains. Obviously this opens up a whole load of capabilities and options to use it. So the native resolution is 854 by 480 but that can be upscaled to 180p. Now that's debatable but at the end of the day look at the size of the device. What are you expecting? Surely if the quality is great that is all that matters right? And for me the quality is pretty dead on, and especially for the price range. Even in low light and a bit more light, you get a good picture. You can see it so there is no debate that this can put out a great amount of light. And since it's LED technology you have a lifespan of up to 35,000 hours. And if you go through that, well you're pretty sad. It's simply just a must have. Take a look at the product in the link in the description and let me know what you think. As always, till next time.